Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hey Virgo, well we're in Libra season now. Um, hope you had a wonderful, for the Virgo suns here, hope you had a wonderful birthday. Wishing you all the best on your next trek around the sun. Mine was lovely, quiet, but nice. Um, really kind of haven't fully celebrated yet. That's a long story. Um, but I will as soon as I uh, can. Anyway, um, so we're in Libra season and we are hurtling toward the new moon in Libra with a solar eclipse. Yes, coming up on October 2nd. So I'll be doing a reading for that. And this uh, series of readings that I'm doing is um, a new spread that's all dedicated toward sort of looking at lessons and baggage and from relationships past and present what do we need to release what's blocking us what do we need to forgive where do we need to focus in on for self-love purposes also we can kind of degunk a bit more um, for those who didn't have quite the fullest uh, full moon in Pisces lunar eclipse release process that they may have needed. So I'm going to start by pulling from Divine Master's Oracle. Let's see what Divine Master comes through. We're going to activate the reading here. Saint Germain, the Violet Flame. <laughs> How perfect, Virgo. Welcome, Cross Watchers, by the way. And if you're brand new to the channel, really happy to have you here. Do come into the comments, say hello to me. This like kind of lights me up. Let me know where you're kind of tuning in from. I do um, spend my evenings reviewing comments, um, welcoming you properly, answering questions, giving you feedback on your response to the readings. So here is Saint Germain, the Violet Flame, Alchemy, release the old, make way for the new, Virgo. Yes, the violet flame is so powerful. If you don't aren't familiar, aren't familiar with it, you can Google Saint Germain, G E R M A I N, and the violet flame. You can find some beautiful rituals around it, um, some good invocations. This would be really perfect for you to Google and find something that feels aligned for you for your new moon in Libra ritual. Yes, do it, do it now. So perfect for you. Okay, for any of you watching, you don't have to be Virgo, you can do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, pull the spread and um, I'll walk you through it because it's different and it has been provoking lots of responses, not gonna lie, some people have been very appreciative of the deep dive into shadow in the past and other people not so much. Um, which tells me I know who my people are. <laughs> and the, the others opt out. But kind of hang with me. See what you think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That Nine of Pentacles has come out in, I think, pretty much every reading. Mm. Oh. So we're looking at not just the relationship you're here to watch about, but that finds its way into the process, obviously. But this is really for you, for those of you watching. And we're kind of looking at lessons from past relationships that may in fact be impacting the one that you're in or the one that is eluding you right now, the one you may be in separation from, whatever, right? So here's the lesson, hanged man. And that could be talking to you about stagnation or about things just kind of only getting so far and then hitting pause, right? And you're just kind of in no man's land We'll look at that or where you're kind of in the matrix, not knowing what's happening, waiting for enlightenment. Things only go so far. And the baggage that you're carrying from that is no reciprocity. You're giving, 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 and nothing comes back to you, or at least not <clears throat> either in the way that you need or not in equal measure. There's no investment 
coming back at you. Six of pentacles. So that's baggage that you're carrying, which is what? Am I, what am I, chopped liver? <laughs> if someone doesn't find me worthy of their investment in a connection with me, that's some heavy baggage. And over time, in relationship after relationship, that can pile on pretty heavily. So release. What do you need to let go of from these relationships? Um, and, you know, there's a story you may be telling yourself. This Nine of Pentacles is Virgo. It's associated with the sign of Virgo. And I always like to say about her, she's the single person in the tarot. So there's this story. Well, I guess I'm just meant to be alone in life. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride, right? There may be a story you need to release that I'm just, I'm just meant to walk this life alone. Nobody's going to invest in me. Nobody thinks that they need to be generous to me as, as, to, as I am to them. I'm just going to hang here in purgatory, right? There's just something that you need to release. Um, and there's a block here. What's blocking you from either sort of stepping into the fullness of the connection that you're in or there's a block uh keeping you from finding new love fear anxiety worry apprehension um maybe even trusting your own intuition you know quick to go to suspicion quick to go to the negative quick to buy into well i'm just you know it's not going to happen for me so there's a block here we'll get to it because the moon is our emotions and the moon is what we can't see in the moon right can bring up some triggered energies forgive what do you need to forgive <laughs> six of swords um yeah that it hasn't been easy that it's been a lot of turbulence that it's never been calm waters, that it's always been some state of mental chaos or mental, you know, difficulty or challenge. And the Six of Swords is intended to bring us peace of mind. And so if this is your forgiveness card, then the message is that I have had no freaking peace of mind in relationships. So how, you know, you want to take this message and sort of flip it so that you can find some forgiveness for the fact that you see things, your perception of things is that it's always been a challenge, it's always been difficult, it's always been turbulent. And find some forgiveness around that. And that can go way back, in the way back machine, to childhood. So keep that in mind. And then in the self-love assessment, what do you need to work on? Um, yeah, quick to be disappointed, disillusioned, disenchanted. Feeling emotional disconnectedness. Rejection. Mm -hmm. Maybe even feeling like an outsider at times. Especially in relationships like... Everybody else is coupling up and pairing off and finding their happiness. And I'm just kind of not. I'm here hanging in the matrix. Virgo in the house. <laughs> so it's not necessarily my own story, but of course there's there are themes, you know, variations on a theme here that I, I can relate to. So... It's not my reading because I don't make it about me, but it's certainly, I, I see her, I get it. I understand the need to release that story that I tell myself about the patterns in my own life when it comes to relationship and coupling. Hanged man. Wow. <laughs> Who here does not want me to read this?
Well, the hanged man, it's interesting now because I'm getting the little flip on this. The hanged man waits for some enlightenment. So at first I thought this was about, you know, you get left hanging, you know, things grow stagnant or they don't move. But now it's about you don't wait for enlightenment. You just take a leap and you leap without looking. And you learn the hard way, probably very painful way here. This is a very specific message about timing, divine time. So there is a lesson here coming through for those of you who are open to receive it, lessons in past relationships about waiting for enlightenment and looking before you leap so that you don't get laid out because the timing wasn't right or the karma wasn't good. Um, so now, because part of the message is the baggage is that there was not a good timing for reciprocation. Someone wasn't ready at the same time, couldn't give what it was you needed, wasn't a, as a, a person capable of investing in the connection emotionally, physically in terms of time, energy, effort, resources. Yes, exactly. So what you're carrying around is I, ju I just, you know, I just meet up with people who take advantage of me, who aren't invested. I think they're on the same page, but they're not. I don't get the cooperation. I, I get kind of... Um, Yeah, that Five of Swords is coming through is taken advantage of. Uh, it can be manipulation as well, and therein lies the moon. So that, that triggers your fears, your insecurities about trusting people's intentions. So the baggage is about, well, I, I, I take this leap of faith. I think I'm dealing with someone I can trust. I take 10 swords to the back, thank you very much. And that's supposed to be teaching you something about the importance of evaluating, taking the 30,000 foot view, waiting for some enlightenment, looking the situation over first before you leap. And for some reason, this has this effect of, well, nobody's willing to invest in a relationship with me, I can't trust people. I can't trust somebody's intentions. So I have to live in fear, um, apprehension, some form of, I can only bring so much of myself now forward in a connection. So you're not even, your baggage is you can't even invest 100%. You have to hold back. So release, Nine of Pentacles. Right, the worry, the anxiety, the sleepless nights, I'm not enough, I'm, I'm not gonna couple, I, uh, there is no sacred soul connection for me. I'm destined to be on my own, alone. Page of Cups, there's no sincerity out there. There's no one who's you know really gonna come from the full, fullness of a sincere heart, someone who's gonna speak, speak their heart and I can believe them and take them at, at face value. This is what you need to release, is that story that you tell on a loop. The block is the moon. Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles, King of Cups. So the King of Cups here is either the keeper of your heart presently or the construct of someone who's emotionally available for you or would be, right? New love, potentially. Yeah, 
you're blocked. Right? I'm just going to get rejected. I'm just going to be abandoned. Nobody sees my worth or value. It's a lot of heightened emotions. Um, overwhelm. So this kind of remains way out there. I'm very remote. Way beyond arm's length. Um, and it gets further and further away. So it is definitely based on fear. Um, it isn't... I, some may be intuition, but it almost feels like it's all emotions. Lots of emotions. Lots of like, I don't know. This is seven cups of crazy. I can't trust any of it. And if I do, it's just going to reject me, abandon me, uh, leave me, um, and treat me like crap. Lots of... Lots of, um, you know, themes here around taking a chance and then having it slap you upside the head. And from that, we have seen this sort of Indiana Jones boulder getting bigger and bigger. And now where you're headed is you have to forgive yourself for, you know, almost setting yourself up for this turbulence, this constant sense of your mind can't rest, so you find no peace. Because you want the love. You don't want to be alone. You want the soul bond. You want the connection. You want the sincerity. You want all of that. do have to forgive yourself for setting yourself up for no peace so that you can accept yourself first as you are whole intact brilliant beautiful to be admired desired craved even let me say that right like you got to get back to that so this is your forgiveness card right heal <laughs> yes. thanks spirit just said let me help you out here sis yeah this is all about healing that part of you like you got to release that part that is not letting yourself off the hook for the, that time that very first time you didn't look before you left you took the ten swords to the back it was you know if you're here as the virgo especially like we don't we hold everybody's feet to the fire but guess what we're the only ones who stick our feet in the fire Okay, we're very, very hard on ourselves. All right, so if y'all think we're tough on you, we're toughest on ourselves. Hello, Leo. Say hello to our Virgos. Yeah. See, he said hello. Don't, yes, don't. That's nice. So, right? So this is the forgiveness portion. We got to get to our peace of mind. We've got to do a little healing. And that Nine of Pentacles is our card in the deck. Just so you know, if you're here as Virgo energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Nine of Pentacles is kind of, you know, it's a little um, avatar. And so forgive yourself for that part of you that, holds on to repetitive thoughts that you're not enough that you weren't enough that you made mistakes that you know that you feel like because you made those mistakes you can't trust people what you might be thinking is i can't trust myself and now i am afraid i'm afraid because i don't trust myself and therefore i can't trust others Forgive that. Heal that. 
you'll find the peace of mind. Wow. Self-love. Four of Cups, Five of Wands. Ooh, Queen of Swords, Page of Wands. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to hold this part up. The Queen of Swords is speaking to me about your, your, your need for some objectivity. Right? There's some inner conflict here. There's some, uh, there's some inner conflict. I'm not feeling like, because this is the self-love part. Um, the inner conflict that keeps you feeling emotionally detached, rejected, disenchanted, um, disillusioned with love. So for self-love purposes, draw on, she's Libra, so we're in, we're in Libra season and we've got the new moon and Libra coming up. So start with being a little objective. Um, Level-headed, of course, non-emotional, that's really important right now for you. Check your emotional stuff at the door. Um, she's very matter of fact. She's a truth seeker and a truth teller. So she, I almost feel like you need her sitting on your shoulder, almost as if she's going to put you through some form of question and answer to sort of challenge, to challenge your assumptions right i'm unlovable that's why there's you know emotional distance in my life well let's challenge that um all i get is i i only get conflict and tension and argumentative whatever it is that these two cards speak to you about she's coming in to challenge those assumptions so that you can get crystal clear about what you're telling yourself. And that would be your first um, effort, what you need to work on for self-love, which is really perfect for you, especially if, again, if you're here with Virgo energy, is to be a little analytical about it so that you can kind of dispel the myths, dispel the stories that you're telling yourself so that you can build yourself up emotionally you can reduce the temperature, you know, when it comes to tension that you're feeling internally, that would help. And then underneath is the page of wands. And I kind of like this for you because it's like that spark. It's just, you know, like when you have a little matchbook, I wish I had one. I say this so many times, I wish I had one. And, and you take that match out and you just strike the striker and you go, you hear that little, strike the match and then it kind of sparks that's what i'm feeling here underneath you need to kind of get that spark lit again inside but the way you begin because this is this for you this is just optimism it's like you know getting the spark back for you self self-love for you is dispelling the myths dispelling the stories dispelling you know, the tension and the um, inner conflict and the parts of you that are feeling emotionally disconnected from yourself, okay? So, so Virgoan, um, and for those of you that are here as cross watchers, if you identify with it for yourself, claim it, it's perfect. Do a violet flame exercise for yourself. You don't have to wait for the Libra new moon. Uh, alchemy, release the old, make way for the new. Beautiful, beautiful. So I am going to take this to the extended. Let me tell you what I'm doing because that's a new spread too. Um, for those of you who are here to watch about a relationship, that's what I'm going to focus on. Your energy and your blocks, it's different from this block. It's about the block in that re specific relationship, their energy and their blocks, the relationship itself. I'll pull cards around that, divine guidance from spirit, and how things might unfold going forward. So the links to that are below. So if you came here looking for relationship, 
this is something you need to work on. We're in the eclipse wormhole, so this is for you um, in preparation for the solar eclipse coming up. And then the second, the extended, is about the relationship you're presently in or dealing with. Um, and the links to that are below. Like I said, there are a couple different ways to get the extended. Make sure you look at what it is you're purchasing first. Just wanted to say that. Also, if you've been enjoying my readings and you have not yet done so, please do subscribe below. And that keeps me in the game here on this platform. So that's my ask because that's our energetic exchange. I come, I do the reading and you subscribe and um, click the little bell so you can get notified when I upload new readings. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you very much. And I'm headed to the extended now. So I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.